sir. Snake, we do have to get back out of here. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the Legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! Was so I? I think I said before she was so close about. I think I just made that inference based on one line of dialogue or something, and it's just wrong. Hmm. That was being dumb. Why is she allowed passage? Kojima? Plot hole? All right. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagohads. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. The Shagohod was originally designed... By the way, there's only four trophies left. Nuclear missiles from any Which is not a lot. Of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod. Melgear Solid 2 had three trophies within an hour. Melgear Ray fight, Solidus fight, finish the game. Could launch a nuclear missile directly so. into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. That's pretty cool. I like the other Metal Gear is just a powerful the tank. Range of the missile launched by the Shagohod, thus it's pretty crazy how like these earlier games focus so much on like the development of Metal Gears, and then Metal Gear Rising just throws Metal Gear Excelsis at you out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. Also, of course, it's funny, all these metal, all the early Metal Gears are just hangar, special ways to fire nukes. Only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, 
to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be This is a good argument against deterrence, because like, where does it end? The deterrence arguably ends a moment someone makes a weapon which cannot be beaten. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. Yeah, right, but the only problem we have with nukes now is just so you see, it's delivery and making it stealthy. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> all right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. Oh god, is C C3 and C4 new at this time? Oh boy. There was some in the History armor, moment. But it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Vulcan's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. I mean, she may be of a patriot, but... No. I'm not going. Can I resist one? My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about the Also, US? this whole plot reminds me of a... I've mentioned it before, like the yes, I once thought of film I watched about uh, Benedict Cucumber Batch and uh, but even if Russian I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, which is a true story based on a Cuban, uh, which happened during the Cuban missile crisis, scientist. which of course is set right before this game. To be honest with you, so I, I think it's probably very topical. This is probably inspired by, or possibly like Every partially inspired by my real story. That should never be used. Things that I should think. never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. 
please watch over my family. Oh yeah, I should probably mention in watching videos about Phantom Pain, I realized it is not Hal Emmerich in Phantom Pain, it's his dad Huey Emmerich. Which of course I don't remember because I played the game fucking six years ago. So of course I would forget. But yeah, it's it's Huey's is it Emmerich's dad in that game actually, so Oh boy. I I don't feel like this is gonna go down well. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Snake. <laughs> Why is this happening again? No! Kojima, why? Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely <laughs> mistaken. <laughs> I know the Major better than anyone else. Okay. He knows the major better than anyone else, huh? And what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. You only got kneecapped, right? He's, he's alright, right? You can what get kneecapped and still disguise. totally take it. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Doesn't CQC literally stand for close quarters combat? I'll take it from here. Am I stupid? I'm probably just stupid. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Oh boy, is it time for the torture room? Oh. Ooh. It's Mel Gear Rising but inverted. Oh no. Oh. Snake is literally just taking a bunch of <laughs> Oh god, his face is broken as fuck. Oh boy. And now it's actually torch time. Great. So don't try to seek, you see him. 
when it comes time to fight him. I mean, I already know we're going to beat him because he somehow ends up as a man on fire. I will save my game. I was actually thinking to do that. It's been a while. I haven't saved yet today. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never did that. You! What's going on right now? I'm not supposed to be able to see, am I? I guess he's dead. Oh god, did he just murder Sokolov? Honestly, it feels like I'm supposed to be able to see right now because I have a UI in the upper left and right. More entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your Kojima? body, shall we? Hmm. You've certainly seen your share of battles. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I am about to show you what hell is really like. Well then, let's All right, get, let's get started. ready to mash the circle triangle. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Well, I'm mashing buttons, or nothing's happening. I guess so. Answer me. Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Here's where the fun really begins. Body carries an electric charge of ten million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy. Aren't they? Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? Yes, yes. See what's also what, this is what a real man is, taking the torch like a champ. I couldn't tell which voice it was that was pleading it's with him to stop. He's not going to talk. I don't think it was. Was it boss? I He's don't been know. He's trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. You'll never live. <laughs> what?
What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? I like that he actually seems intimidated. He fucking took a step back. Cut out his eyes. Oh. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's oh. nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes. Oh make God. For a oh no. Display. He's all yours. Do it. Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. Also, those two seem to be coordinating in some way. Don't know what's going on there. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Sucking a fancy tour. Animal. Hey, us a lot. No, I have no interest in this woman. I Fucking hate you! Oh my god, Osla! Fucking prick you are! I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Oh, he's doing this fucking thing again. Oh! Oh dear. Oh no! Satisfied now? So a real big boss did lose an eye. That's and that's out. Oh god. Not great. Oh, slot, you fucking prick. Oh my god. So you survived the colonel's torture, eh? Shut the fuck! You lose every fight you're in, and then you get yourself fucking percent. You're incompetent. Watching this has made me realize something. You fucking suck, bro. <laughs> it's really not that bad. You're such a loser. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> you fucking sexually astral and you fucking bastard! Oh my god! Just a fucking prick. You got lucky this time. Tyson. God, I want to fucking shoot you in the face so bad.
Run! One four four seven five. I think Eva is actually a way better cow than Mel. Escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You are quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. She's a way better cat than Mel to me. I was like complaining about her at first, but I, close to I prefer her so much. You just have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Also, I found out Mel was in Metal Gear Solid 4, and I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so sad that it is Ganon that she lives. So please give this cutscene end soon just because I want to take a clip and not upload it to YouTube. I want to make sure I catch everything in a 30 minute clip. Ooh, okay. <laughs>